In this lesson, we will learn about how to solve maximum subarray problem using Kadani's algorithm. We will look into the problem statement now. Given an array of size n, we need to find the contiguous subarray containing at least one number which has the largest sum and return its sum. Now we check an array which comprises both negative and positive integers. First, given a problem, try to find a brute force solution, then try to optimize it. In this process, try to think out loud because this is very important in a whiteboard interview. The brute force solution is first to start with the index position 0 and try to add it with all the preceding indexes value one by one and keep track of maximum sum. Next move the index position to 1 and add it with all the preceding indexes value and carry out this till the index n. Here, the space complexity is constant value but the time complexity is order of n square. We can optimize this solution by using Cardano's algorithm. The Cardano's algorithm helps us to compute the maximum sum at each index position. The core of Cardano's algorithm is the maximum sum at any given index position is either the value at that index or the sum of the value at the current index and the maximum sum at the previous index position. Let's see a pseudocode of Cardano's algorithm. Assign the zeroth index value of the array to the current index maximum sum integer and overall maximum sum integer. Start from the index position 1 and iterate till n and find the max value between the current index position value and sum of current index position value and last index maximum sum. If the current index maximum value is greater than the overall maximum value, then replace the overall maximum sum value with the current index maximum value. Now let's dive deep into this algorithm with an example. I believe this will make the things clear. Assign the zeroth index value to the current index max value and overall maximum sum. This is very obvious because there is no element present before this index so the maximum sum at this index position 0 is the value present in the index itself. Whether it is positive value or negative value that doesn't really matter because at this index position this element is the maximum sum. Next move to the index position 1. The value present at this index position is 2. The maximum sum at this index is either the value itself or this value plus the last index maximum sum. So the max of 2 and 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 2 which is 3. So the maximum sum at this index position is 3. Now we need to find the max value between the current index max sum and overall max sum. Here the current index sum is greater than overall max value. So we need to replace the overall max value with the current index max value. Now the current index max value is 3 and the overall max value is also 3. The next index position is 2. The max of minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is 3 minus 1 which is 2. So the maximum sum at this index position is 2. So the current index max sum value is 2 which is less than the overall max value 3. So we no need to replace the overall max value. Next index position is 3. The max of minus 2 and 2 minus 2 is 2 minus 2 which is 0. Obviously 0 is greater than the negative value. So the maximum sum at this index position is 0 which is less than the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value now. Next index position is 4. The max of 2 and 2 plus 0 here both are same. So the maximum sum at this index position is 2 which is less than the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value. Next index position is 5. The max of 1 and 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 2 which is 3. So the maximum sum at this index position is 3 which is equal to the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value. Next index position is 6. The max of minus 2 and 3 minus 2 is 3 minus 2 which is 1. So the maximum sum at this index position is 1 which is less than the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value. Next index position is 7, the max of 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 which is 2. So the maximum sum at this index position is 2 which is less than the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value. 
Next index position is 8. The max value of 4 and 4 plus 2 is 4 plus 2, which is 6. So the maximum sum at this index position is 6. Here the current index maximum sum is greater than the overall max value. So we need to replace the overall max value with 6 and the current max value is also 6 here. The next the index position is 9. The max of minus 5 and 6 minus 5 is 6 minus 5 which is 1. So the maximum sum at this index position is 1 which is less than the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value. Next index position is 10, the max of 5 and 4 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 which is 5. So the maximum sum at this index position is 5 which is less than the overall max value. So we no need to replace the overall max value. Here the overall maximum value is 6. This is the answer. Now I believe you might be very clear with the logic behind this Kadanis algorithm. Now you will see this logic in a Java program. Here we will create a Java function which returns integer value and which is the maximum sum and it takes the input array. We will create two local variables, one current index max sum and overall max sum. Initially we will assign the zeroth index of the array to both these local variables. Now we will iterate from index position 1 to index position n using the for loop and we will assign the maximum of the current index value and the current index value plus current index maximum which obviously I have here the last index maximum sum so we will assign this to the current index maximum now the current index maximum sum will be the maximum value present at the current index now we will check whether the current index maximum sum is greater than the overall max sum using the math.max function and we will assign that to the overall max sum now once this iteration is completed we will just return the overall max sum we will get the maximum contiguous subarray sum in the given array. This is Kadanes algorithm. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical video, please subscribe to this channel. Please leave your queries and feedback in the comment section.